Welcome back to another video. I uh, I have just finished work and I am for some reason in the mood to film so I'm gonna do that. Sorry if I look like trash but that is what nine hours at work does to you. I've made stuff over the past couple of months since the last time I did a what I've made in video so I thought I'd share that with you guys today. I have them right here in front of me which is which is why I'm looking down and uh, I'm just gonna go through it. I haven't made a lot. First thing is this. Uh, I have an iPad that I draw on sometimes and I did buy one of those drawing pad gloves. You know these two finger ones and I cannot for the life of me find it. I do not know where I've put it. So I made this <laughs> and it's actually really nice. Uh, I got the pattern for it off of Ravelry I think so I'll link that down below but it's just a really quick and easy and you kind of make it to your own measurements sort of so uh, it's really easy it was really easy to do the yarn I used is Yabu soft raggy raggy which is it's it's really soft uh, really nice to wear uh, and I'm really happy that I have this this one uh, next let's see here I have a few things at the end of my last video, I showed you guys a couple of projects I was in the process of making, and I've actually finished a couple of them. So I'm going to show you those. I actually. Okay, we're going to do it like this. So, this is one thing I showed in uh, my last Stuff I've Made video, and it was only halfway done. It's so soft. I love it. It's like, it's the softest thing ever. I. I love it so much. Uh, as I stated in that video too, like the pattern was so easy to make, so, so very nice. I just love it so very much. It's so pretty. It's made using Sivex Tibet. It weighs nothing, like it's great, I love it. And it's made from the shoulders down so you can just like you can adjust the length and the length of the sleeves as you go and I'm gonna link that pattern too again because like if you want a v-neck like this make this because it's great I loved it so much super easy process girl who made the pattern has like it's super size inclusive and like tons of videos on how to do certain things so just five stars SS plus just great Another thing I showed the pieces of, oh, I did never, <laughs> I never sewed this in. This one is technically not quite finished, but it's finished. I just need to do embellishments on it. But I showed the squares for this in the last video. So what I've done is that um, I've made a lot of stuff uh, using Amigo XLs, and uh, I usually have a little bit left over. So I decided to use that little bit left over just to make regular granny squares that I could sew into something. and. I ended up with enough to make this dress and uh, it is really just a simple granny square dress. Um, I do want to finish these with something like this and maybe the bottom too just to make it look nicer but it looks like this and I like it. Um, I did notice while I was, which side is it? Yeah, here, I forgot. I missed one, I forgot to connect it but that's an easy fix but overall I like it. Not sure if anyone remembers, but in the last What I Made video, I made, actually I can put it up, I made these shorts. Those shorts do not exist anymore. They are now a part of this dress because I needed more black. <laughs> and honestly, I'm not sad about it because I wasn't gonna wear those shorts. This dress, however, I'm definitely going to wear. But yeah, so this is the state of this thing. I'm probably gonna add a button at the back for the neck. And this is just like slip stitch ribbing. Uh, like you do the slip stitch in the back loop all the way around. I'm probably gonna do maybe like maybe I could just do a single crochet to because I want to finish the edges. The, the edges feel unfinished. Uh, and same with the bottom. I don't know if you can see the bottom. I want something for the bottom of it too. Anyway, so that's this dress. After that, I have like two, two and a half more things. Um, I'll start with this one. So this is another TCD DIY thing because I can't stop. This one I like though. This one was good. Uh, it's a cropped, hooded, cowl neck sweater thing. 
This is made using Amigo XL because that is pretty ideal for her patterns. This is what mine turned out to be. The thing I did differently from her was that I knitted the collar. <laughs> I did not want to do slip stitch back loop ribbing for this tall of a collar. So I ended up knitting it and I like it a lot more because it's very soft. Uh, slip stitch ribbing, it looks nice, but it can be very, very tight. So I think if I'd done it slip stitch, it might've been too tight on me anyway. So this is very comfortable. Uh, the sleeves, uh, if you look at her pattern, the sleeves are very, very big and poofy. And honestly, I wouldn't have had enough yarn to make mine if I'd done that. So I just, I think I just added one slip stitch to the join here. So I think she does, uh, like you, you do a chain and then you crochet back for the first row. And when you get here, you slip stitch twice to this base row before going back out and in. And then you do two slip stitches to like move along. I did three and doing three got me this slightly tighter sleeve and it's all done in like, it's a half double crochet in the back loop for everything. This is single, I think. Uh, but yeah, overall I like it. Uh, the hood, according to her pattern, was also supposed to be in the back loop. It's enough pattern as it is to have it on the sleeve, so I just did it normally. I like it, and it's warm, it's nice. That's the one thing I love the most about Amigo XL, is that it's very warm. Very soft and very warm. So, the last thing is this, which is another one of my uh, deconstruction patterns thing. Like, I find, find a picture on Pinterest, and I really want to make the thing, but I can't find a pattern, so I just deconstruct the picture to find out how to make it myself. So I made this, which is a strawberry bralette, and I'm I'm gonna go put it off, put it off, put it on off screen. Ta-da! So this is what it looks like. It's obviously like a, a strawberry bikini top or bralette or whatever, and I love it. It's so pretty. It turned out so pretty. Like I'm surprised with how well this turned out. Um, I've only done a few like deconstructing a picture patterns things and uh, I'm surprised with how nice this one turned out to be. Um, oh, I tied it a bit hard, it's hard to breathe. But it looks like this and like you make this triangular cups but instead of like going up like this you go to the side so like the top is down here and it makes for this really really cute strawberry shape. Um, you do the picot, picot stitch on the edge and then just sew this in by hand. The leaves are sewed down so that they don't flip up. Uh, this shaped out really well. I was afraid it was gonna curl and stuff, but it doesn't. Um, overall, I just really like it. It's cute. I actually bought more yarn so I can make like, I really wanna try making one with like either lemon or orange slices or something. And then maybe I have this grand idea about making one with like grapes, like grape clusters. Uh, I think it would be cute and I like purple so I made the ties extra long so I could like double them and tie them in the front. I just find that easier. It's cute too, you get a little embellishment. Um, this is probably my favorite of all the makes, like I really really like this one. Um, and it's pretty comfy. It's made with, um, it's Swedish yarn, Maxo Kattens Sunny which is a um, cotton yarn that's Mercer size, so it's extra shiny. Uh, this one is very thick, um, and it makes for like, really, it's not stretchy at all, so it makes for really nice shapes. I made my, um, I made my first Christmas cardigan uh, out of it, and this is like leftover stuff I have. The only thing that isn't, it, the yellow is like, um, I think it's rainbow cotton, <laughs> probably. This was the last thing that I've made that I've had to show you. Let me put on a shirt. And then I thought, like last time, I could show you kind of like what I what I have in, in the works right now. So I just remembered, I have one thing I can't show you here physically, so I'm just going to input some clips of it now. Uh, I'm in the process of making like a, a video out of this, but it's taking forever because the second bag isn't done yet. I'll show you the second bag in a bit. But this is a bag I also finished. Um, it's made out of tiny granny squares. Um, I bought these mini skeins from Hobie and made squares out of all of them and it's it was really fun and then I made it into this cute little bag. Here is bag number two from that little project. This is the, I think it's the bottom. And then 
I think maybe they're in the background. Oh God, please don't fall. These are all the squares for that bag. They are divided into stacks per side, I think. Probably. So these are all the squares. In total for both bags, I made 120 squares, <laughs> which is insane. Um, but yeah, so these are going to turn into a bag, just like a tote or something, um, so that I have in the works. I did get bored of that though, because making that many granny squares in a short amount of time was very, very tedious and one form of boring. So I picked up two other projects. Um, this is my current bring to work and try to work on. Usually what ends up happening is that I bring it to work, spend both my breaks just sitting there staring at the ceiling because I'm too tired to do anything. <laughs> and then uh, I come home, feel guilty about not working on it, and then I make like a round or two. So it's been a slow, slow process. I'm gonna drop that on the floor. So I didn't know what I was like going to make of it. So I ended up making this, which is a mess. But it's one of those, it's a crop shrug thing. Um, like that, this is one of the sleeves I'm working on. I am tempted to stretch it, like block it, but I feel like it's just gonna ruin it and make it too big, so I'm, I'm terrified. So this is my current bring to work project and I hope I'll be done with it soon. As soon as I stop being so, so tired from working. It's also one of those more like, it's a little bit boring because it's just like, it's double crochet, chain two, double crochet, chain two, double crochet, and it's just, it's just the same thing over and over again and I just want to do something else. Um, and then I have this, which I am, I am so tempted to just, to just take this and make this, but if I let myself do that, I just know the other two things are never going to get finished. So this is like my reward. This is my reward project. I get to do this when I've worked on those two for a bit. So uh, this is, uh, if you remember my blue sweater vest, sweater vest? No, just like a slip over vest thing. So this is the start of it. I should probably come up closer, shouldn't I? It's so pretty. <laughs> it's like unicorn colored. It's just this really, really pastel-y thing. And the yarn I'm using is this, which is like a multicolored uh, yarn from Sivek. I bought a lot of Sivek yarn and I, I haven't like figured out what I wanted to do with it until now. And now I want to like use everything at once. But this is Dolce. Uh, I don't remember the color uh, off the top of my head, but it's Dolce and it's this like super pretty pastel -y rainbow thing. I'm sorry, I keep going out of frame. <laughs> it's just so pretty. And then I put it together. Oh, now I don't have the band for it. With this, this little magical number here. Um, it's from Hobie. It's like an effect yarn. It's this like string with a bunch of little fuzzy dots on it. It's super thin. It's super tiny. Like the, the skein is the tiniest thing ever. It looks like one of those 8-4 eight, eight, yarn skeins, honestly. And it's so cute. And it just, it goes so well together with this. It's crazy how well they go together. And as I said, this is my like, this is my reward project. So whenever, whenever I worked a little bit on those, I get to work a little bit on this. And it's gonna be a slip over just like the blue one I made. The blue one which I am tempted to unravel and redo because <laughs> because it doesn't fit me very nicely. Fairly short video this time, I think. I didn't have that much done, but honestly, I've been indulging in different hobbies, more hobbies, which is nice, like video games. Yeah, hope you enjoyed. I will do my best to leave links to whatever patterns and stuff that I've used for these pieces. Uh, as always, thank you so much for watching or listening or whatever you've been doing. Uh, thank you so, so much. I think that's about it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next one. Until then, bye.